walk in the handicap spot. You can go move it, please. What? Here's our minivan. The person was unable to get out of the parking lot.
our, our warm-up chorale. It's called Haas to Den. It was written by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach a long time ago. Beautiful piece of music that really gives these kids a chance to sound to show just how beautiful they can play. Our first piece of music on the program is a circus march written by Carl King. Carl King is notable to me because he ran away from home when he was 14 years old to play in the circus band. And he wound up being one of the most famous band musicians of all time. He wrote uh, hundreds of marches that were played by, they're still being played today. This is a circus march, so as you're listening to it, imagine clowns. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Uh, our next piece of music, we're going to have uh, Stevie, our student conductor, is going to conduct Moscow 1941. This is a musical representation of one of the most horrible battles of World War II, uh, of the, of the, the uh, siege and, and uh, battle at Moscow.
Our next selection is a piece of kids, it's probably their favorite song. They've been asking to play this since they were in the sixth grade. Uh -huh. And they finally got to play it this year. It's called Great Locomotive Chase. And this describes a historical occasion, a historical event during the Civil War where uh, Union troops, spies, uh, uh, went into Georgia, somewhere around Milledgeville or something like that, and hijacked a train, a, a steam engine, and, uh, and the uh, coal car, and took off down the tracks with the intent of uh, destroying bridges and tearing up tracks and disrupting the uh, Confederate uh, communications for, between Atlanta and Chattanooga. And as they were heading out of the train yard, a, uh, a Confederate officer figured out what was going on and he took off running after them and found, got a, uh, uh, commandeered a train engine that nobody was using and he and his and a group of uh, a crew took off after them, chasing them down the tracks across North Georgia. So in this song, you're going to hear the sound of steam engines. Say it. You're going to hear mechanical sounds in the drums. backwood uh, hillbilly melodies uh, uh, played as the trains go rushing, go racing through. You're going to hear as the trains run out, of, uh, run out of water, they run out of fuel, and they slow down, and they come to a halt, they refuel, and they take out all over again. And I keep telling the kids, this would make a great history fair project if they want to take it up, because it's a great event. It actually happened. The Great Locomotive Chase.
Thank you. I'm going to go a little bit of housekeeping back here. <laughs> many of you have seen the skit on Saturday Night Live called More Cowbell? Okay. If you haven't seen it, you've heard this music. It's typical music from the uh, 80s, 70s, and perhaps 80s uh, that relies for a lot of its effect on, you guessed it, hold it up, yeah. cowbell. So throughout the song, you're going to hear More Cowbell. When I first saw the uh, title of this, I thought it was just going to be a silly novelty tune until I heard it, heard the recording of it. And it's a very good arrangement of some music that uh, a lot of us will remember when it was brand new. This is Four Cowbell.
this is when I get to present some awards. And first, I would like to recognize the kids on the stage that participated in solo and ensemble and made a superior or excellent. Please stand. participated in uh, uh, all county band. And we were also very fortunate this year to have two students that participated uh, in some groups outside of our school, outside of the, the school building. Uh, first is Adeline Paloba who was, uh, went to Troy State University this year in uh, December and participated in the Southeastern United States Concert Band Clinic and she plays flute. What's here? Second chair. These are kids from Florida. participate in the Florida All-State Band. And uh, the audition process for flutes involves a pro probably 600 flute players statewide. And she was selected from that to participate in the All-State Middle School Band in Tampa in, uh, Jan in January. So this is to Adeline Belova. She was fourth chair in the state. Wow. Uh, We're not 
true. Uh, she came up earlier and conducted a very challenging piece of music for you. She also directed the band at District Festival this year. We did our three songs on the stage for the judges, and then we went to another room where we sight read a piece of music we had never seen before. And after we finished with that, after all the nerves and the tension and the excitement of what we had been doing, uh, Stevie Townsend conducted the band herself in front of the judge. Who, uh, he actually went and sat behind the band so he could see everything she was doing. And he was very complimentary of her and of the band playing. And she received a superior rating. Also, this year, Stevie has been one of those kids that uh, when anything needs to be done, I look for Stevie. And she gets the work done over and over again. She gets her friends to help her. She has figured out how to get people help her to get things done. This is what I call leadership. And so we're giving the Student Conductor Superior and Leadership Award to Stevie Townsend.
the next selection on our program, in a, once again, in a patriotic vein, uh, this the song, the music is called Duty, Honor, Country. And before I tell you about the music, I'd like to introdu introduce the narrator. And a lot of you know, a lot of you would know uh, uh, John Tyner from Olive Baptist. John is a former student of ours. He played cornet in the band and uh, has gone on to really wonderful things in music. He'll be our narrator this evening for this piece of music. It's called Duty, Honor, Country. It's by David Walters, and uh, it was written, the, the text is an adaptation of the address delivered by uh, Douglas MacArthur at the 1963 graduation of the West, uh, West Point Military Academy. This is Duty, Honor, Country. Battle. 
that was a tree. Come back to Vandering, and I will show you the picture. John said, no, please don't leave it. It was John and four of his best friends in a brass group that we call Eagle Brass. They played together from seventh grade until all the way through high school and in, the, in college. Uh, and they, people still ask me if Eagle Brass is still going on. That was 20 years ago. It made, it made a name for itself. Our next piece of music uh, is called Marches of the Armed Forces. And we'd like to recognize everybody in here that has been in any branch of the Armed Forces. Uh, if you have a family member, that is in or has been in the armed forces. If you have a close friend or a favorite branch of the armed forces, we would like you to stand and applaud when we play this song. And remember, Pensacola is a Navy town. <laughs> I'll let you know what each song is as we get to it.
Jokes always know how to cheer us up. Let's not forget about his news. He goes zero to one hundred real quick. <laughs> but all in all, he has made our middle school band experience unforgettable. <clears throat> he has prepared us where we can succeed in high school and also in life. Thank you for everything. Helping 
through this or not, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> the kids are insisting upon playing this piece of music.
he's going to get around. <laughs> Why are we doing that? We get through here tonight. We need to get all the chairs up on the floor. If you would put these in stacks of 10 and move them over there against the wall. The custodians will take care of them for us. And the kids will be getting back to the classrooms tomorrow. Uh, this has been a wonderful evening. You all set? You got everything? Okay, one last song we're going to play as a reprise, we call it an encore. It's been a great evening. Thank you for sharing these wonderful kids with us.